In today's video, I will be using this premium clipper set by Limerol, packed with quality products at an affordable price point. The kit does include a set of guards numbered one through six, but for this haircut tutorial, I do recommend y'all also purchase this half clip and this one and a half clip, as well as a comb, a brush, and a neck duster. What I like about this kit is that it already includes this hair trimmer to go alongside the clipper. And as for the clipper, it's a high quality clipper that gauges the battery life right there in front of you so you know when it needs or it's time for some charging. Also, the fact that these clippers are cordless make it that much better so you don't have to deal with any wire getting tangled up while you're doing these haircuts. I'll leave a link down in the description for y'all so y'all can feel free to check them out for yourselves. And last, we're just going to need some sort of stand to hang a handheld mirror behind us so that we know or see what was going on behind us. So with all that being said, let's just jump right into it. What's going on, Fader Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and I'm back again with another tutorial. Today, as y'all can see, I'm in need of a haircut. So I'm going to show y'all step by step how to give yourself one using these cordless clippers by Limerol. I will leave a link down in the description for y'all so y'all can feel free to check them out. And also, before we start, don't forget to like this video and also share it with someone that y'all think might find it beneficial. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. For the top of my hair, I did start with a 10 guard lever open, but feel free to use whatever length you choose on top. Before you start, make sure you comb down the hair so that it lays down into its natural position. And then you're just gonna work, you're just gonna want to run the clipper over the top of the head numerous times until everything gets cut nicely even up top. And once you're done with that, you're just gonna want to brush everything off and comb your hair back down and get ready to start laying in your guidelines. For my first guideline, I'm gonna start with the clipper lever closed all the way to lay down our first guideline here, starting about the temple peak area. And then I'm gonna make sure it kind of slants as I reach the back of the head. Keep in mind guys that you're only gonna wanna go as far back as you can see in the mirror in front of you. And once you're done with one side, you're gonna repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. Again, going just as far back as you can see in the mirror in front of you. After this, you're gonna wanna utilize that handheld mirror and kind of place it in a comfortable position where you can see the back of your head. And that's when you're going to start laying down the rest of the guideline, making sure that both lines meet at the same spot in the back. And when you're looking at the back of your head, remember to look at the small mirror so that you have a bigger reflection in back of you. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to open the lever all the way to set down our next guideline. For the next guideline, you're going to want to come up about a finger and length up high, making sure this line runs parallel to the previous one that we laid down. And again, guys, we're only going to go as far back as we can see in the mirror ahead of us. And what we do to one side, we're going to repeat on the opposite side. And, uh, and just so you all know, guys, you don't have to dig the clipper into your skin. Just make sure you're controlling the clipper, laying down these soft guidelines, making sure the clipper just does all the work. And again, to see the back, we're going to utilize our mirror and then again, just connect that guideline all around the head. And so once this line has been laid down as clean as possible, we're going to start by removing it. And to remove it, first, it's going to take two lever positions. First, with the lever closed and then the lever halfway. So initially starting with the corners of the clipper, just kind of blend it out as smooth as possible. And then whatever it don't blend out, you're just going to want to open the clipper to the halfway position so you can finish taking it out. And make sure you're staying under that top dark guideline. And that's just going to serve as a safety net to help us not take the fade up too high. So as you see here, I opened the lever halfway so I can finish blending out. And we're going to do the exact same steps that we did before, working on one side, then working on the opposite side, and then attacking the back. So again, guys, clipper lever closed to begin, and then we open it halfway to finish taking out that line. And then we're just going to turn around and repeat this exact process on the back side until we get that initial guideline blended out completely. 
if y'all feel lost about any of these steps feel free to comment down in the comment section and uh, i'll be more than happy to help y'all out also i will leave down in the description these steps in written format so y'all can feel free to write them down copy them or whatever to uh, better read them and take them with y'all and once that guideline has been blended out completely we're going to move on to the next one for the next one i'm going to use the one guard lever all the way open and i'm going to come up about another finger in length and we're just going to continue this step until we go all around the head creating that even guideline all throughout And once you're done with this guideline, keep in mind that it's going to take two steps to blend it out just like the previous one. So first we're going to start with the half guard and then we're going to put the position into the third quarter position. And that's just placing it in between the lever open halfway and the lever open all the way. And kind of just using the corners of the clipper in a blending motion, trying to soften up that guideline as much as possible. Again, making sure that you're not going too high up into the dark guideline. So uh, just make sure you blend right under it and don't dig into the darker area. And as you see, it didn't completely blend out that guideline, like I said. So next, we're just going to want to remove that half clip guard and still leave that lever position on the third quarter spot. And then we're just going to continue with that same blending motion, working on that guideline until it's completely blended out. And if you feel like you need to open or close the lever a tad bit more here and there, then go ahead and do so to ensure that you blend out that guideline as much as possible before we go ahead and... Uh, move forward with setting in our next guideline and don't forget to consistently be brushing away any loose hair that the clipper is cutting so that you have a clean workspace and you can visually see your lines being blended out then for our next guideline I'm gonna grab the number two guard with the lever all the way open and again we're gonna come up about another half inch or a finger in length up high but since we're already starting to reach the curvature of our head, make sure that you kind of pull out in a vertical manner so that we don't dig in too much into the upper length of the hair. And now to blend that one out, we're gonna utilize our one and a half clip Again, we're going to move that lever to that third quarter position and we're going to start chipping away at that guideline uh, until we can smooth it out as much as possible. Again, it won't completely take it out, but uh, just try to take out as much of it as you can. And then we'll come back right now with the number one guard to finish taking it out. So next, we're going to grab the number one guard still with that lever on the third quarter position. And we're going to start to finish smoothing out that guideline completely. Again, guys, make sure you're just staying under the dark area and uh, just smoothing out as much as possible right under it. I'm always getting comments about people telling me if I can do the fade without the half and the one and a half clip. But honestly, guys, you can, but it's going to take a lot more detail work. So uh, to save that, to save you from that hassle, I do recommend you purchase the those extra guards since they're fairly inexpensive and they're easy to purchase on Amazon. I'll link them down for y'all down in the description. Next guys, we're grabbing our number three guard with the lever all the way open. And uh, we're gonna start trying to connect the side length to the top. So in uh, some sort of a sculpting manner, we're just gonna dig the clipper into that dark area and we're just gonna kind of lift it into a vertical manner, sculpting the side length to the top as smooth as possible. So make sure you're kind of continuously combing down the hair as you do this so that you can ensure that uh, you're not having any more hair hanging over the fade. And depending on the hair length that you have on top, if that don't do it completely, you're going to want to grab the number four guard, open the lever all the way. And again, just repeating the exact same steps as you did with the three guard. Um, just trying to finish sculpting out the side length to the top length as smooth as possible. And so once you're done with that, you're just going to want to quickly brush away all the loose hair before taking out the rest of the bottom hair. And for the bottom hair, you're just going to want to come in with the limerol trimmer and then just completely take it all out. 
just be careful not to go up too high into the fade with the trimmer so that you don't create any more lines into the fade. So just be sure to release some pressure on the trimmer as you're getting closer to the fade. And once you're done with all of that guys, you're just going to want to kind of determine if your haircut needs any little touch up work. And for the touch up work, all you're looking for is little dark spots or little inconsistencies in the fade. And then just coming back in with whatever guard or lever position you feel you might need and just blending them right out. And as for my facial hair, I like to keep a short stubble. So I just ran a number one guard with the lever open throughout my whole facial hair. And then as for the top of my cheek area, I like to not have so much of a harsh line. So I just came back in with the lever open and just kind of soften up that line by tapering it downwards. And then I just came in with my limerel trimmer and kind of detailed any areas that needed a, to be cleaned up. And as for the bottom of the neck, you're just going to want to stare straight into the mirror and then uh, make sure you line up straight as possible at the bottom of your neck. And it's going to be preference as to how low you want your lineup to be. Me, I kind of like to do it right about where my neck bends. And then I'll just kind of pull my cheek forward to try to get the back side of it. And then uh, just get it as clean and uh, nice as possible. And as for the front hairline, I like to comb the hair down really good. And then I'll proceed by setting in my vertical bars on each side. Try not to push them too far back just try and stay as close to the natural lineup as possible and then once you've done that you'll just kind of come down the middle and then uh just make sure they meet on both sides evenly and making sure that you have a straight line going across your forehead but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial after that you're just going to want to clean yourself off really good and then apply some kind of product of preference i like to use a a matte clay to finish off my hairstyle and then I'll just kind of play with my hair until I find a desired look that I would like. I hope y'all guys were able to learn something on this mid fade using my Limeral cordless clippers. If y'all did please give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment sections what y'all did or didn't like about the video. But again guys my name is Sergio Barron and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.